I'm going to do now is I want to make a nice looking schedule. So I'm going to click on the menu, go to Doors and Windows and click Schedule Manager. And I'm going to click New on the top here to make a new schedule. And as you can see in here, I have a bunch of different settings uh, to let me choose what I want to show on my schedule. So at the moment, it's showing doors and windows, but only doors and windows that have a type code and element ID that does not contain the letters EMT for some reason, um, because that was the what the other schedule had. Sorry, that's the reason it's there, but I'm not sure why it's there specifically. But I'm going to remove that filter, um, and I can add another filter while I'm here. So I could say that... Um, the element ID contains the word uh, and for interior doors or something like that. Um, so you can filter it based on uh, various things like that. You can also filter it based on the layer combination that it's on, the story that it's on, uh, or its renovation status. So you can show only demolished or you can show only existing ones or you can show the new and existing but not demolished, that sort of thing. And then you've got some settings here for what to actually show in the schedule. So uh, this one's just the auto rebuild option to get it to rebuild each time you open the view. And then there's some settings about whether you want to, uh, so isolate materials, for instance, if you have two different doors that are identical except that they have different materials, if you choose isolate materials, it will schedule them separately. If you untick isolate materials, it will ignore the material part and schedule them together. And so you can isolate various different things there if you want to. We've also got some settings here for the layout sheet that it's going going to want to fit to. And this will just set up a frame around the schedule so that uh, you know it's going to fit on an A1 sheet or whatever type of sheet you want to. This list is based on the list of masters in your project. You can also set the dimensions for, <coughs> excuse me, for the uh, dimensioned little elevation view of the door. Uh, and the label settings that you want to show. And then finally, you can set the layer that you want it to be on. So let's choose those settings. We'll say that, yes, we do want to update the schedule. This is an older project, so it just needs to migrate the settings as well, which it's done now. And now if I click in here and go to my worksheets, you should be able to see SHO1 new schedule, which is the one that I just made. So I double click on that and you can see this nice looking door and window schedule. It's all fit in size, inside the A1 uh, sheet template size, size, which is this gray border around there. So you know that it's going to fit onto an A1 layout. Um, and each element is nicely uh, showing a elevation view and some dimensions on it, as well as its ID down the bottom and how many of them there are as well. So as you can see over here, uh, five and six is, is two of those, um, but everything else is just one of. So we've got an empty opening there, um, some various other shapes of doors uh, and windows there. So, And because the element filtering is uh, what you saw earlier, you can set it to show just doors and then have a separate schedule for windows and all that sort of standard stuff. Uh, you can also apply notes as well, which I won't get into here, but um, we have a system to allow you to apply schedule notes, which lets you put different notes on different doors and windows and have them show underneath your IDs uh, against each of the doors and windows here as well. Um, and this will update, if you have it set to auto-update, it'll update every time you jump in. Otherwise, you can go into your project, make changes to those doors and windows, and then jump in here and update them, and they'll update their elevation views and their dimensions and everything right away. So that's the uh, nice time-saving feature of the doors and windows tool that I wanted to show you.